just about to head to work for day two this week and um, completely forgot to do something yesterday but I will try and capture a little bit more today. So before the summer uh, one of the members of staff had planted a range of vegetables and so yesterday I discovered that there were a huge amount of carrots that were ready to be picked uh, that had been left and I picked them out and there was all sorts of different colours with these purples and beige and an orange a great array of carrots and so um uh, kind of all sort of like oddly shaped you know that really true organic it's just fresh out the ground look so i did a little bit of uh cooking with that last night and also some chard which i'd never really done anything with so i'm gonna pick some more chard today uh and i will show you that and also we've got probably um 100 meters maybe more length of uh blackberry bushes and they're perfect for picking as well so I'll probably do a little bit of work today and then spend the rest of the day just picking vegetables and uh, fruits and having a great time. So I'll try and get a little bit of footage of that if I can. Just out here at the moment uh, picking some blackberries. A lot of wildlife hard at work doing their pollination and zipping from blackberry to blackberry so I'm just uh, being a little bit aware of their process and uh, making sure I'm not grabbing any by accident and getting a, a little sting. But it's just a, a stunning day to be out picking picking some fruit and uh, yeah there's a, there's a huge bush sort of uh, behind me um, but I'm just gonna wait till later to go for that bush there because we've got um, a local academy in so lots of kind of kids around and things so I'm just being aware that I need to give them a little bit of space until um, their day ends and I can head out there get a time lapse going and record a little bit of footage of me picking blackberries which I'm sure will be entertaining for you all. It's been a really busy day. I'm um, just grabbing some time now to head out and pick some blackberries. Do you know, it's really good to pick from somewhere that you know has not been covered in pesticides and all of those things. And I'm told from people that have been here a long time, because I'm relatively new to this uh, place of work, that the bramble bush, I think it's a bramble bush you call it, that the blackberries are growing on uh, are really well established and have been here years. And year in, year out, they're just uh, producing the most incredible blackberries. So I'm just going to settle down now to do some picking. Let me just give you an idea about uh, how much we've got. So we've got all of these ones behind me, straight down as far as I can see there. Straight along that back fence, all the way down, right to the end. All blackberries. So let's get set up and let's get picking. <laughs> I'll have to come back for some of these. Uh, they look like they're, you know, in process of becoming ripe. Some of these are a little further away, but uh, like I say, I'm barely touching the surface of the amount of available here. So I'm looking forward to, um, yeah, grabbing some food tonight. You've definitely got to watch out for some of these because they are pretty vicious and unforgiving if you catch your hand on them. Not wishing to. Uh, jinx it if you like but uh, since wearing my knee support uh, just for you know, a couple of hours a day and then taking it off it's really improved the way uh, my leg feels and uh, I'm still not going to go running today but I have been sort of moving around a little bit today and not really giving it much thought which is fantastic up and down stairs and all of those things so tonight I'm just going to be heading to the gym do a bit of cross training I might just, uh, I'll probably walk down there. It's unlikely that I'll jog down there, but I'm not gonna take the car. Get down there, do a bit of time on the cycle machine, wander back. Realistically though, by the time I get home, it's gonna be about six. So you know, it's that kind of dilemma of eat first, gym later, gym first, eat later. I'm not entirely sure which way around I'm going to do it, but that's the way my evening's going to look anyway. Get a bit of cross training done. 
and then uh, yeah, round today off. It's been a good day. It's nice to get some food, some fresh fruit and veg. Still got to think about what I'm going to do with that chard. I'll put a little post on Instagram looking for recipe advice. So hopefully a user, somebody who follows or maybe somebody who doesn't, can just point me in the right direction because I'm not entirely sure what to do with it myself. But I'll find, um, I'll find something to put it in or put it with. Always got to make use of fresh vegetables when you get the opportunity, especially when they are free. So, just pulled up at home and I was about to head inside, grab my gym gear and head down to the gym. Um, I was actually due to meet my brother down there, who's already down there. And we're going to do kind of like a little circuit together and just keep it light, keep it fun and enjoyable. And then I receive a message from him. Now, this gym I've complained about on a number of occasions. And unfortunately, if it was... <sighs> If there was an option where I could go to another gym locally, I would. However, this gym is a lot cheaper and more affordable. And so, therefore, I guess you get what you pay for, even though it's still quite pricey. At the moment, it's about 27 degrees outside and it's 6pm in the evening. There's no air conditioning in the gym. It has apparently broken again and an engineer is on the way, which means the temperature has exceeded 30 and is close to 40. I'm told it's absolutely horrific conditions down there. Now bear in mind people are working out, people are getting hot, people are getting sweaty, and there's a nice volume of people. This is peak time, this is not one or two people in open space. It's a busy, busy gym. So it's just not going to be possible. I'm not heading down there in that kind of environment. But what I will do, because what I'd love to actually experience this evening, is just a nice, peaceful, quiet, brisk walk through the countryside. Just me and the world. No phone, no distractions. That's what I'm going to do. Just get some appropriate clothes on, get relaxed, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then just head out. Calm, nice, enjoyable evening whilst this summer sun is still there. So that's my plan. No gym this evening, but you know what? For the hassle and for the strain it's going to cause on my positive mental attitude, it's not going to happen. But a brilliant day, really fantastic day. Can't wait to get these fruits and vegetables inside and see what I can do with them, see what kind of mess I can make. Uh, more like, I'm not a chef. Um, tends to all go into one pot and just comes out as a creation but yeah that just kind of rounds up my day today bit of a shame I couldn't go down and do a little bit of cross training but do you know what it's a much nicer thing to do to enjoy the environment while you still can because before we know it'll be winter we'll be complaining that the evenings are dark the days are short and the weather's horrific